everyone, I'm Basuta Agarwal and I lead in Mobi's Asia Pacific business. Welcome to this year's Building Resilient Brands edition, the indisputable magic of mobile. Over the next hour or so, we will be discussing the mobile trends and opportunities that will define the year ahead for India's Adland. 2021 was a tale of two halves for India's advertising ecosystem. In the background of the pandemic, digital channels and more so mobile became the lifeline of consumers and marketing organizations alike as they sought to meaningfully connect with the world around them. Simultaneously, data streams that helped build rich experiences for users when who have come to expect immersive and personalized journeys came under the scanner. Advertisers across the nation continue to focus on being in lockstep with their consumers who are now exploring digital avenues at an unprecedented pace. And while there has been great buzz about the possibility of metaverse, the truth is that there is an entire generation of consumers already living in a version of this reality. Be it shopping on apps to meet their daily needs, watching the latest movies in the palm of their hands, or gaming to connect with their virtual communities, Indians have embraced their digital lives. Around the globe, there has been an indisputable increase in a number of things. The first is app downloads. The second is the time spent on mobile. And third is consumer spending on mobile. While the pandemic has catalyzed several trends, the most noticeable is the transition to a mobile first world at a pace that is unprecedented. The world added 222 million new internet users in a year since October 2020, which means almost 600,000 new users on average each day. This has led to the creation of the hyper-connected consumer dominion through mobile apps. Today, we are seeing users across the globe spend 4.3 hours per day on their handheld devices and have spent over $135 billion on the App Store in 2021. Naturally, marketers are also responding to this trend, with mobile ad spends reaching nearly $370 billion. The mobile economy has witnessed an unparalleled growth in 2020. India has one of the largest internet user bases in the world, which is only set to increase rapidly in the coming years. This has been made possible by access to affordable smartphones, the cheapest network data tariffs in the world, and improving mobile internet speeds. As of Q2 2021, India's total internet user base was 810 million users. Exactly a year ago, this stood at 726 million, indicating an 11.5% growth year on year. Today, India accounts for nearly 17% of the world's internet users. As a mobile-first consumer economy, India continued to be the largest market after China with App Store and Google Play Store installs, surpassing 7 billion downloads in a quarter for the fourth time. According to the Ericsson Mobility Report 2021, India's average data consumption per smartphone was the second highest in the world at 14.8 GB per month. This is a good 60% higher than the global average of 9 GB per month and a growth of over 20% since 2019, when consumption was 12 GB per month on average. The average daily hour spent per device grew, amounting to a total of 4.8 hours per day. But what exactly are Indians doing online? Let's take a deeper look at that. India is home to almost 1 out of 10 gamers across the globe and is the fifth largest mobile gaming market across the world. According to some estimates, 44% of India's smartphone population will be playing games on their devices by 2022. Gaming has now achieved escape velocity in India, competing with other popular entertainment categories such as short form videos, streaming services, and social networks for user attention. But as we take a closer look at who is driving this growth, it's definitely a good time to let go of any archaic notions 
that gaming is popular among young adult males. The shift in behavior is interesting to observe as women across India take to gaming with great enthusiasm. Gaming has become increasingly popular across ages and gender, defying old school conventions. Nearly 52% of India's women gamers live in, metro, live in metros, while 29% live in small towns, with gaming now clearly becoming the new face of entertainment for women across India. While 25% of these women gamers fit within the age group of 25 to 34 years, 32% of the users are married with children. The top five women mobile gaming epicenters in India were Delhi NCR, Maharashtra, West Bengal, Karnataka, and Andhra and Telangana. Interestingly, the western part of India showed 25.3% share of downloads, holding the largest share of game downloads in Q1 2021. The top five apps with most downloads in this region were Ludo King, Garena Free Fire Evolution, Candy Crush Saga, Winzo, and PUBG. When we tried to understand India's female gamers a little bit better, three types of users were observed in this pandemic, which included committed gamers, regular gamers, and occasional gamers. Committed gamers account for 77% of all women mobile gamers, and they play once to several times in a day, while regular gamers play at least once a week and occasional gamers play once a month or less. Within these committed women gamers, the study recorded a 38% increase in time spent and a 33% increase in the variety of games played in 2021. The relative convenience of playing games on smartphones anywhere, anytime is an advantage not just for Indian women, but even for marketeers trying to connect with them. Despite the internet penetration in urban areas being more than 2x that of non-urban areas, users outside of urban India have been growing at a faster pace in the last, on a year-on-year -year basis, from 15% in net penetration in 2015 to 32% in 2020, non-urban Indians are coming to the digital front lines very quickly. While internet users grew by only 4% in urban India, reaching about 323 million users in 2020, digital adoption continues to be propelled by non-urban India, which registered a 13% growth in internet users over the past year. With a sizable population not accessing the internet actively in non-urban India, there is a huge headroom for growth in the next few years in this part of the population. In 2016, only 20% of rural internet users understood the benefits of the internet, but today that number stands at 80%. But how did this shift happen? The growth in digital adoption has been spurred by the country's top telcos who are expanding their mobile user bases outside urban regions in recent months. Together, they have added 4.3 million rural subscribers between June and August 2020. Post lockdown, rural mobile data usage for the big three telcos grew by 30 to 35% in the June quarter, which was much sharper than the estimated 15 to 20% rise in urban data usage. Multiple initiatives, both private and public, are leading to digitize rural India and saw the last mile mobile challenges. The first among these is the Government of India's initiative, Digital India Program, in 2015 to bridge the gap between urban and rural internet users. The aim was to ensure that government services were made available to citizens electronically by improving online infrastructure and increasing internet connectivity. Through initiatives such as Bheem UPI, DigiLocker, Smart Cities, and Government eMarketplace, the government is encouraging faceless, cashless, and paperless governance. The Bharat Net program undertook the task of connecting 2.5 lakh gram panchayats by fiber optic network and has achieved around 1.4 lakh connections thus far. The mobile -like penetration and adoption of the internet in rural areas will blur the divide between urban and non-urban areas in almost all aspects. And as this ever-growing Indian digitization story unfolds, 
all eyes will be on the non-urban connected consumer. According to BCG, around 20% of new users were added to the category of online shoppers during the lockdown. Not only did more people start shopping online, but existing customers increased their online spending by 45%. This also meant an increase in the average number of categories bought online, increasing from 4 to 6 per user. Some categories, such as fresh food and staples, witnessed an uptick in new users as high as 40 to 50 percent. I'm sure all of you would have heard multiple instances how an e-commerce delivery, once unavailable beyond certain PIN codes in India, is now shipping to the most interior towns and villages across the country. With challenges on reach and accessibility addressed by India's leading mobile commerce players, a new era of show and tell has occupied the imagination of consumers today. The shoppertainment or teleshopping format of the bygone era is currently taking over the digital world. Termed as live commerce, it refers to shopping streamed live. Backed by changing consumer preferences, content consumption patterns, and technological developments, this market is expected to reach four to five billion dollars by 2025 in India alone. There are a few reasons why consumers are taking to this innovative format, such as the instant gratification that they get from the experience, the differentiated and versatile and entertaining nature of the experiences of live uh, shopping, um, and the heightened trust that they place in the influencers who are streaming and showcasing the products. To help us understand more about these changes and opportunities, I'd like to invite my colleague and friend Mansi Jain to share her thoughts.